Hello all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be in the Essential Elements book. I'm going to be talking about page number 32. I will be doing all exercises, 126 through 129, just so you can kind of see how they all go. So on page 32, if you look at the top, it's talking about having a low second finger. A regular second finger, as much of you guys know, is usually a whole step away from our first finger, okay? Our first finger on, on the string is our D string. What we're going to do to create a low two or an F natural instead of F sharp, we're going to take our second finger and we're going to slide it back to our first, okay? So they're only a half step apart, so they're right next door, okay? Um, this is F natural. Notice the pitch difference between F natural and then also F sharp, okay? F natural is lower. If your teacher is telling you to go lower, means we move our hands towards the scroll, not up towards the bridge, okay? So that is F natural. So I'm gonna go ahead and play 126 very quickly. Very nice, easy song. Why should you do it? It really helps establish the pitch of F natural so that you can hear and know what it sounds like. Um, also note that the natural sign uh, cancels a flat or a sharp sign. So even though we have the sharp in each one of these at the beginning of the piece, the natural sign, anytime you see it, you must do a low two, okay? Um, so number 127, half step, and is working on the third finger and second finger with a regular two, and then the third finger and second finger with a low two. Now practice this a lot, because what happens with most of my students when they start playing low two is that they pull their third finger back and their third finger becomes out of tune. And we don't want that, we don't want a flat third, okay? So let's try this, number 127. So make sure you really stretch that third finger off if you know what a ringtone is, you wanna make sure that G rings. Okay, Spy Guy. We're gonna start in our first measure with F sharp because we have F sharp in the key signature. for your last one is minor details and this one we're gonna have low to the entire time and we know that because in the key signature we don't have a sharp anymore okay which is the uh, um, space right after the treble clef so minor details <laughs> spooky as it's in D minor. As always guys, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to message me or comment down in the comment section below and as always, happy practicing.